Hi, Rashmi. Hi, Priya. Hi. So I uh, wanted to ask you both, you know, like in an organization, uh, you both have been leaders and you both have kind of, you know, coached people. You both have interacted with a lot of juniors also. Now, how do you measure the effectiveness of your allyship efforts in a professional setting as a leader, as a team leader, and also as a person who is trying to be supportive while, you know, coming up with something different for the organization? Mm. Yeah, so um, so allyship is an attitude. Uh, allyship is the frame of thinking. Uh, so how do you measure a frame or how do you measure an attitude? Um, so it can't be quantitative. It's always qualitative. Uh, some of the markers of, um, you know, having that culture of allyship in an organization is to see if the diverse voices are being heard. Um, uh, firstly, is there diversity in your team? And then if there is a diversity, is it uh, that everybody has a space to speak up? Um, even if they're speaking up, is there space for them to be heard? So these are uh, some markers that come out through uh, stories or instances um, that uh, you know organizations um, share or managers share, which kind of give a insight into how effective an allyship program has been. True. I mean, if I think about um, what you just said, it's about there are different. There, it's it's about a sense of an individual, every individual feeling a sense of belongingness. Um, and I, I mean, kind of going back to, I think, the project uh, Aristotle or something where, which draws upon this quality of, uh, is there a sense of belonging that an individual feels there? And uh, that is when I think when those markers are met or when there is that level of, um, you know, strong level of safety within the teams and organizations. And I think that's when uh, the, the, the allyship becomes uh, reality or it's it's where the it's like it's felt in the fabric of the ecosystem whereas allyship is as you said an attitude or a, it is the outcome of a certain uh, a foundation that you that you set right I think those are some thoughts coming to me uh, Rashmi and Chandrani another word for allyship is actually inclusive leadership and and for you know for organizations to really uh, be creative and and with our disruptive times uh, innovation is one of the very key aspects uh, for any organization and innovation happens when diverse voices are being heard because unless we have different perspectives different points of view um, that diversity of thought uh, will not really come up and when there is no diversity of thought and everybody's saying the same thing, then innovation becomes a challenge. So from that perspective, having that base of uh, being allies um, to different groups of uh, people and to enable that culture is actually enabling a culture of innovation and creativity. Absolutely. And I think that's the potential that uh, a very uh, concept or an attitude like allyship can do, right? It can drive business results. It can, you know, increase the profitability of organizations. I think those are all studies that have been put out there. But what happens is that it looks like, like I remember a time where when you're reading some of these big reports, and especially when you are young and trying to figure out the working world, you read all these big numbers and you think, wow, it's too far away and what am I in that, you know, you feel like you are not contributing to that big numbers there. But what these kind of instances and how the world has changed our thinking, right, from the way of sustainability and all those concepts, everybody matters. So yeah. now no longer can you act ignorant. I think mm. that's the fundamental, like you as an individual taking ownership to say, Am I doing something to make some, and it's not somebody else's business, it's your business. True, true. Right? And also a very important aspect, uh, you know, when we talk about Elisha, raises thoughts about like, hey, is this person an activist? You know, why is he or she talking about 
something. So there is an element of um, like I'm fighting for somebody's rights. But allyship is really not that. It's not about fighting for somebody's rights. It's not about being an activist or it's about really embracing, um, you know, the qualities of what enables another person. It's not about uh, saying, hey, I'm going to be this person who is an ally. It's more a state of beingness rather than a state of doingness because once you kind of change your mantle to saying that, hey, you know, I know that I've had privileges, that maybe other people have not had those privileges. So how can I enable enable that? And and that's a that's a way of being. And then the actions automatically start from there in terms of uh what are the different things that you could do. And the first step is actually finding out what does the other person want. Um, you know, and and uh, then stepping up to see that what is it that you can you can do for that person. Absolutely, actually, I I remember doing another video segment with Chandrani, I think yesterday, which was all yeah. about um, you know, managers. Now, like every manager is expected to translate potential to performance, but the but their but the the role their role biography. To this to where they are today is go, is going to be such a mixed bag, and if each person wants to change something in unison outside, but not having the ability to reflect, come to terms with their baggage, or even recognize where what is the journey been, and therefore how do they need to resolve that? So that's what I was thinking. Organization should become deliberate about. Uh, you know, every manager, a person with who can make an impact, is that the fundamental unit is a manager. And if that, if every manager or every manager of managers have the ability to, uh, you know, not just take, uh, you know, interventions to develop themselves as a functional expert or develop themselves to build more skills as a manager, but having the ability, organizations giving them that reflective space to reflect their role biography. I think I learned that concept from you, Rashmi. And yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's part of... Um, mm, the transformational uh, experience framework by Susan Long, by Professor wonderful, Susan Long. Wonderful, wonderful. I mean, and when everybody recognizes where they come from, then they get prepared by coming to terms and being in a neutral state about their baggage helps them to unifiedly achieve the excellence that organizations want to drive, be it allyship, be it inclusive leadership, be it business results, whatever be it, I think there needs to be a fundamental neutrality in the system. And I think that's the foundation or the stepping stone for you know some of the big things that we want to achieve, like reduce the pay gap, reduce this, reduce that. And um, so individuals and managers, be it, uh, it doesn't have to be, it's gender agnostic. Every individual needs to be an ally to the other person. And that's what inclusive leadership is all about. It doesn't uh, make uh, one gender lesser and the other one privileged, but I think it's about the unity there. <laughs> Yeah, and, and uh, you know, uh, very interestingly, sometimes uh, people don't voice it, but feel it that, hey, uh, is that person getting more privileges just because, yeah. uh, you know, they're uh, now getting more privileges because they're perceived as unprivileged. But my question is always that, uh, you know, if both both people have to reach the same horizon or for the company to grow, if both people need to reach a certain place, um, to enable the growth of the organization and one already has all the tools available uh, you, you you know providing another with a few more tools doesn't mean that you're giving that person privilege um, so so that's a bit of a mis misassumption where um you know, allyship or is is concerned, and uh, so it's very interesting when we kind of you know uh, talk about it and take the people through this journey of understanding really what allyship is. Um, this is something that that comes up, and uh, and you know, just sharing the perspective uh, kind of enables and moves uh, things in a different direction. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, Rashmi, and thanks, Chandrani, for asking Thank this. Thank you, Priya.